36 years of basketball knowledge and life skills. Your host, Coach Goins, focuses on today's topics on and off the court, helping players and coaches achieve their goals. So get ready for another fast break episode of Basketball More Than a Game with your host, Coach Goins. Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Coach Goins. You know what is so good to be back in the studio. I am in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So listen, we're not going to prolong. We're just going to go ahead and get right in the thick of things. So listen, thank you so much for taking time out and joining us for another fantastic fast break episode of Basketball More in the Game. We've got a lot to talk about. And we just want to go ahead and get right on into it. But before we do, we want to make sure that we are taking care of business, just like uh, Mr. Curtis Jackson takes care of us each and every week to allow us to continue to come back on week after week. And we just want to thank him. So for your insurance needs, please reach out to Mr. Curtis Jackson, your independent insurance agent out of the great state of North Carolina and also now serving Southern Virginia. So please reach out to area code 919-614-5796. Thanks, Curtis, for his continued support of basketball more in the game. And listen, when you talk to him, please make sure that you let him know that you heard it from the show, not just, you know, in passing by, but, you know, what a great, great man, great staff, uh, continue to pre, pre appreciate everything that he gets done for basketball more in the game. So for your insurance needs, reach out to Curtis again at air code 919-614-5796. So listen, you said, coach, man, what's popping? So, you know, Hey man, listen, we're, we're just continuing to pick up followers and we can you know, subscribers and we just want to make sure that we give a shout out to all of our fans and everybody that, you know, takes time out and, and listen to the podcast and we certainly appreciate them. And, you know, so again, continue to subscribe, like us, follow us and leave a comment. You can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, podbeam.com, Facebook, Lionfish Entertainment, as well as Spotify. And you can check us out on my website at coachgoins.podbean.com and also on my YouTube channel. So we want to thank all of our folks that's listening to us around the country and also our 20, that's exactly right, our 20 international countries. We just picked up Denmark last week, and we're certainly, certainly excited about uh, that. So listen, without further ado, like we always say, make sure you got your sneakers on, you got them laced up tight, because we're going to be dropping down. We're going to be time to talking about a two-word process today, and that is competence and commitment. You have to have competence, and you also have to be committed. So we want to give you the definition real quick of the word competence, and that is the individual's demonstrated and transfer and transferable knowledge and skill on a goal or a task. So you have to be competent you know what I mean? and that's the thing you know when you look and say you know does the person do they have you know competence in order to carry out the instructions whether it's on the basketball court or they have the competence to be able to carry out the direction when you give them that direction at, at work and then they have to have that level of commitment and commitment def and defines as this the individual's motivated and confident on a goal or a task. So it is a two way street. A person can be very competent in any subject matter, not just in the world of sports, but it could be in the, in, in the business world or whatever it may be, but they have a very, very low commitment. So therefore when, what happens there, that's when development really comes into play, which is a whole different, a whole different segment and a whole different podcast. But we really want to focus in on is in a person being competent and the person making sure that they are committed. Because a lot of times what happens is, you know, in today's world, you get a lot of lip service. People will say, listen, I'd love to be able to help you out. But, you know, and then when they give you that butt sandwich, you know, you don't do, do I put, you know, lettuce on it? I put may mayonnaise, mustard. What do I need to do? Because, you know, they want to be, oh, man, you know, I, I, I want to help out. And, you know, if you need me, let me know. So right then, you know, as, as my pastor always says, you know, you might be, you might be getting ready to get a load. Uh, when they say, hey, if you need me, give me a shout. In other words, I hope you're not going to call me uh, because once you find out, you know, what the, you know, whatever the segment is, whatever it needs to be, you know, what needs to happen and whether it's a, it's, it's a project, whether it's a program or whatever, you know, a person is competent, you know, because they've been asked to, uh, to carry out or execute on a certain plan, but their commitment, you know, they'll sit in the meeting and, you know, they'll raise their hand or they'll maybe be on the ball team or, you know, coach says, Hey, I need for somebody to, to really, you know, to head this up. You know, they want to jump out and they want to save face, if you will, and, and, you know, stick their hand up in there and say, I really want to do this. But then all of a sudden, guess what? The commitment, it says the individual is motivated and confidence uh, and confidence on a goal or a task, because then all of a sudden, uh, when the light's not on, when they're not in front of people, 
Uh, it's, you know, it, it's what's going to happen. It's not just game day. It's behind the scenes, you know, and, and then that, that's a lot of things as it relates to, you know, not just basketball, but also in life in general. You know, it's not just game day. You know, there's a, there's a lot of things that goes that goes on behind the scenes and, you know, in business as well as sports that a lot of people don't understand. And that's where these two words are so valuable. And that's why Coach Goins really wants to call those out. It's competence and commitment because you have to have that. As a player, you have to be competent that do you know what that the, the, the coach asks you to run a certain play and you have to be committed to learn that play you just can't let it you know, okay or he's asking you to you know to, to, to put a you know put a player in the ball screen and all of a sudden you know you you're 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 screening away no he says put put it in a ball screen you have to be committed you have to have confidence that number one that you're going to do what is demonstrative a transferable knowledge or skill on a goal or a task so the coach lays it out in front of you you go through it and you're in the, the you know, as it says, the, the means of um, retention and the modes of uh, retention is repetition. So you go through that, you go through that, but then you have to be committed that, you know what, I am going to execute. I'm going to do everything humanly possible uh, within my power to be committed in order to execute on the play uh, that the coach gave you. So, you know, those are two powerful words, competence and commitment. And that's why we just want to really frame that out and just understand, you know, as a person develops, whether it's basketball, whether it's life or even in the business world, you have to understand that everybody comes in at different levels. Uh, but what we want to recognize is you want to meet the person where they are. And that's our challenge so to you coaches. You know, just don't think because a player walks in, uh, they have the total package. Not everybody's, you know, Kobe, LeBron, James, uh, these guys that just come in and, and all of a sudden, you know, just, you know, light the world up. And they think, well, uh, you know, I can I can come in and, and I can I can I can achieve at this level. You know, not necessarily. And, and that's where a lot of times that, you know, as coaches, you know, we get called up of drinking the Kool-Aid thinking that because this this kid comes in, you know, he he can you know play at this level. Uh, and he has a commitment, but he, we know it's a two way street and you got to have the academics together and you got to have competence and you also have to have the have to have the commitment because, you know, as a regular college athlete, they go through a little bit more um, regimented schedule more so uh, than the average player that is out there just doing what just, you know, excuse me, regular student is just basically they're just working academics. And somebody says, what, when that kid gets up, goes to breakfast, you know, he has say eight, nine, 10, 11 o'clock class, you know, catch a little bit of lunch, you know, go to the uh, library and study, say, you know, from one to three or one to four. And then they're basically, you know, they're done for the day. But that athlete has to do all of that, what I just mentioned, and then go and then do what? Then go to basketball practice or travel uh, and then come back and, and all that prep time. So, they, you know, and so, you know, we really don't want to get into pointing fingers on this episode. But what we really want to be able to do is make sure that we understand that the entire process, you have to have competence and you have to be committed in order to make that engine run. So, listen, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to talk about our next uh, sponsor, and that is Act Sports. So, if you are interested in you know hooking up with one of the hottest uh, Augusta County uh, youth sports uh, programs, you definitely want to check us out at PlayActSports.com. Uh, they do a tremendous, tremendous job anywhere from flag football, uh, baseball. Uh, all these, you know, again, they do have a regular season or rec the divisions as well as travel uh, in, re in reference to volleyball. Uh, one of the uh, travel volleyball teams uh, won a tournament this past uh, weekend. Uh, so, you know, he's so, so excited about uh, what we're getting done in, in the body of youth athletics here in Augusta County. So, again, that's uh, playactsports.com. So we're so excited. We certainly appreciate them and their continued support of basketball more in the game. So anytime you have an opportunity, check their website out, and it just lists all the sports that they have. And, again, not just flag football, rec basketball, travel basketball. Uh, they have volleyball for, for girls uh, and also – you know, soccer's underway. We have 95 uh, participants in soccer, so we're, you know, very, very excited about that. Wrestling, soon to onboard uh, wrestling, so we're so excited about that as well. So, listen, uh, again, we just want to thank all of the people that participate in Act Sports and make it go, and thank you for your continued support of basketball more in the game. So, listen, this is Coach Goins, and we've been talking about a couple powerful words, and that's confidence and commitment, and you got to have that as a player in today's game. you got to be able to, you know, you know, not 
just challenge your coach, not just challenge uh, your parents, but challenge yourself because that's bottom line. That's what it boils down to is you want to make sure that you're competent and then you are commit are committed in order to that process, not just because you're winning, not just because, you know, you're going through the valleys because, you know, some teams, you know, you're going to do have great seasons and then some teams you're really, really going to struggle uh, as that season progresses. So in that, you want to make sure that you understand that entire what entire process that it is not just about what it's not just about me showing up and trying to get it done it's about me showing up and making sure that i'm prepared when i show up not just body i got to make sure i'm physically in shape my mind's in shape my academics is taken care of so i can keep the main thing the main thing so listen you know what as i continue to you know to travel and you know we'll be heading up to new york in a couple of weeks we have another event up there but you just really want to you know want to kind of tie into that uh you know it's just been a great opportunity and that uh, be able to go up to new york uh, and participate in BTIG, uh, which is Charity Day, uh, which happens up on Wall Street. And, you know, the money that we've been able to um, or donations that we've been able to get from BTIG and bring back to Act Sports uh, here in Augusta County has been just tremendous, tremendous. And, and it, it's, it's so fun to go up with my great friend Aaron Eppert and Ralph Sampson, you know, just kind of hang out and meet the stars, hang out with the stars. But most importantly, you know, we do it for the youth uh, of this area because, you know, great, great. Uh, opportunity, you know, for us personally need to go up and kind of rub elbows with the who's who of the, you know, anywhere from, you know, mayors to, you know, presidents to uh, former athletes, be able to come back and number one, share that uh, with the uh, students and the, um, you know, parents of Act Sports is just, it's such a tremendous honor uh, that we able to go up because you know what, we are committed to that process. And like we said, you have to do what you have to be confident that you can execute, but then you have to have the commitment and that's where the long, that's where it comes in the long haul. It's just not, it's not about who can get around the track the fastest. It's about, you know, the consistency and you want to make sure that you are dialed in as a player and doing all that you can do in order to make an impact each and every day, not just on the court, off the court, but be that player that is going to be competent be that player that's going to be committed to their program and parents we ask you the same thing you know get in behind your your team you know rally your team understand that you know everybody has different of opinions you know i look back over my my son's career you know some of you know some of the things i you know i might have aired in and, and, and instead of just kind of keeping those within and you know being vocal but you know what that's you know we all go through that we live and we learn but i was committed i was committed to make sure that he got a fair shake in the process and that's what it's all about so you know a challenge to you players make it hard for the coach to take you out what does that mean you got your book squared away you're at practice you're working hard and when that opportunity shines and an opportunity rears his head to go out and make a difference in the ball game you be ready you be able to go out and execute and you know what and don't look over your shoulder when you get on the court or you get on the playing field or you get on that you know the, the diamond no matter what you got to do is you go out and you execute you have confidence in what you're doing and then you show your coaches that you're committed to be the best teammate that you can be and you're playing for the name on the front of the jersey not on the name on the back so listen coach goes is getting we get ready to get up out of here but again we want to thank our sponsors and that's mr curtis jackson your independent insurance agent out of the great state of North Carolina and also uh, serving Southern Virginia. And you can reach him at area code 919-614-5796. So please call Curtis and tell him thank you and that you heard uh, his uh, his spot on basketball more in the game as this thing goes worldwide. And also we want to thank our continued support uh, for um, from Act Sports, and that's playactsports.com for your recreational needs in Augusta County, Virginia. Uh, not just Augusta County, we do also hit Rockingham and also down in Lexington, Virginia. So listen, you know, it's always a pleasure that I'm able to come on and spend a few minutes and talk about some of the hottest topics uh, that's going on in the world today. And before we close, we definitely want to, you know, send our well wishes to uh, former President uh, Bush. I know he was in the hospital, uh, you know, due to a slight illness and he just lost his wife this past weekend. So uh, from basketball more in the game to the Bush family, we definitely want to uh, send our condolences uh, during this uh, during this time of bereavement for, for uh, former First Lady Miss Barbara Bush. You know, rest in peace. So listen, before, as we get out of here, like we always say, make sure you give back, make sure you you're doing your best. And you know what? Most importantly, uh, don't forget where your strength comes from. So listen, this is Coach Goins. And like I always say, you know, I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the gym. <laughs>